We have to get out of here now. Clever. Sometimes the solution to a problem lies in how it's framed. Always consider the situation from multiple angles. Always giving me a new perspective, eh, Seer? I'm good, buddy. Let's go. Back to it. We need the tuner back. Gives them access to everything pre lockdown. Should get us topside. I think. Just... there. Sorry, old droid, but I promise you're gonna live on. Don't fall behind, BD-1. Oh, 
Go it alone. Maybe we can get to that turbo lift now.
Centauri, your work is unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dagon, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are on Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her. He's close.
Jim here, Billy. Miss them. Dagging could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. See? <clears throat> All right, see. Let's get you out of there. Do hurry, Hal. He's going to reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me. What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. <laughs> That was the plan. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't think so. The music. You're slipping. He doesn't hurt. Still standing. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer. Help me, Dee. <laughs> Tanwar is mine, and I will strike down anyone who stands in my way. You will fail. I sense your fear. You're finished, Jedi. Try again. Weak. No mercy. Cross me again. You wretch. Tanwar is mine, and I will strike down anyone who stands in my way. You have to try harder. Pathetic. The music, you're slipping. Another. How dare you? Does it hurt? I don't think so. Friendly as ever. You've delayed me long enough. <laughs> You're no 
not getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the stuff of legends. Z. I got her. Meet you up there. Come on, Z. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's wise. Dad and Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree, why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. Safest way out of here. You sure about that? No. Okay, then. You seem nervous. I'm going with him. Up aboard, Z. See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. Do that again. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the force array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be, too. Homestead in the reach. Wow! It must have been delightful growing up on a planet with so many colors. Don't get me wrong, I used to adore Coruscant, but all that neon, it's a bit harsh on the eyes. <laughs>
There he is, my favorite scrapper. I have to go. Where to go? Where to go? Heading to the Shattered Moon. They will be expecting us. Cal and I made it through the Luker Hulk, all right? You and I have different definitions of all right. I wonder why Dagon sent Ravis instead of coming here himself. Some seat, Cal. Vulture droids. Looks like Ravis has more separatist toys than we thought. Doesn't look like they spotted us yet. Think you can land? I don't know. The risky part's gonna be taken off again, and the last thing I want is to be stuck on this haunted rock. You could always build a second cantina. Franchise. Hey, how about you save the jokes for later, Jetpack? I can hide the mantis. Last I checked, this ship isn't equipped with a cloaking device. What is she doing? Here we go. The vultures are right in front of us. Trust her. <laughs> okay, that was impressive. We will drop you off. Good luck with Ravis. And to you. Hey, kid. Hurry back. Jetpack, man the guns. Copy that. Oh, and I might need some of your blood. In case I get tired. <laughs> Don't tell Grease, but he's right about this moon. Creepy. Be careful. Locking this place down. Let's keep moving, buddy. 